Welcome to Women's Health and Family Services Wellbeing Series. It's really important that we practice together some self-care techniques so that you have the energy to care for others. You're important and your optimum uh, well-being is what we care for. Today we're going to show you a little bit of a gentle massage technique which you can do at home. Self-massage has many benefits. You can decide what pressure you put, you can uh, decide where you want to go, where you need to go, and this gentle technique is one that can be used for most people. If you have any inflammation or pain, uh, this is, this is a, these are really optimum techniques that can really help release tension through your muscles. Uh, be aware though, if you feel any discomfort, that's okay, but if you are feeling that you're in the pain range, then that it, pain is a signal to the body to pull back, which you can do. Ingredients are really simple. We're just going to use some um, organic uh, coconut oil, which you may have around the house or any kind of oil base. Uh, lavender, usually I would only put like two drops of lavender in there. It's more for relaxation and just to really calm the central nervous system. And then you might like to add your own essence. Um, I love tinderbox, but I suggest that you use something like peppermint because that's really invigorating, particularly when you're working on areas like the feet. So we're going to start off on the hands. We don't realise how much we actually use our hands. We only need about a 10 cent coin piece of oil, but what I tend to do is you just rub it into both hands. So you've got enough lubrication, but not too much that it's dripping. And we start off by working into our thumbs. So this very fleshy part here is also an area that we use in our Chinese massage, uh, which helps with headaches and migraines if you squeeze and contract it for a certain amount of time. So that's a good tip. And then working into the palms, just little tiny circular motions are great. And then just walking, working along the band of the fingers, just working up through the palms, down the fingers. And then of course, very gently on the tops of the fingers. You'll probably find during this time that your hands are getting quite sore because we're doing lots of hand washing and everything. So keeping them moisturized is a really great thing. And coconut oil is one of the best natural ingredients that we can use. By just pulling on the fingers also, we get a little bit of traction. And of course, you repeat that on the other side, working into the pad of the thumb and then down through the palm, just nice long strokes. You can choose how much pressure you use, working away from the fingers, then working down the stream of the fingers, and then just adding a little bit of traction on the fingers. We also don't realise how much we actually use our forearms as well, and particularly these muscles on the inner arm. So we're going to start by just adding just a, a little bit of oil and allowing the thumb pressure technique to work down towards the wrists. This can really help with a lot of tension that happens around the wrists. Quite often we might have uh, the wrists in certain positions for long periods of time when we're on the computer. So this is a really nice way to release a lot of that tension. And I like to do the same on the other side as well, just circular kind of motions, working down through the wrists. Really there's no hard and fast rules. Whatever feels good for you, that's what matters. Same thing on the other wrists, working our way down. Get rid of things like uh, any watches and bands. It's a good idea too, so that you're, you're free to kind of work completely through that area. But putting that pressure in and working down towards the fingers is a great way to go. Sometimes we can get little trigger points, and trigger points are where the muscles tend to uh, knot up or they've, they, they haven't received enough flossing or enough movement and they can tend to um, feel like little bumps. You feel them underneath your fingers if you're really concentrating. So it's a great thing to, to actually really release that. And then just give your hands like a little bit of a shake as well, because we've just massaged with one hand and the other hand just to release any tension there. Second, we're gonna go on to the feet, and this is where I think the peppermint oil is a really good to actually put in. I'll only do one foot, so you can have a try on your other foot, um, either after this clip but just so you get a bit of an idea so we can fit in hopefully one more area. So with the feet just massage the whole of the foot to start off with and then it's a good idea to just start if you can just through the actual arch of the foot. If you find it very difficult to reach your foot you can place a pillow and just have the leg a little bit 
further away from you so you're not placing too much load through your hips. But just working up through the arch of the foot is really great. And in reflexology, all the, uh, the inside of the foot is actually the spine. But we won't go into reflexology, but if you can just, if you have any pain through the spine, this is representative of the lower back and then it works its way up to the neck where you find the base of the big toe. So they're kind of good things to know about. Then you can add just a bit of traction on the toes, like we did with the fingers, but also the front of the foot as well. If you're feeling a bit sore and tender at the moment, this is also a lymphatic gland. So that's a nice one to actually just run the fingers through. Okay. And then you might want to like a little bit of massage up through the calf if you like as well. Last area, after we've done both feet, is uh, working up through the neck area. So tend to sort of open up your t-shirt, make sure you've got a t-shirt, you don't mind getting a bit of oil on, and uh, just adding a little bit of squeezing through the tops of these muscles here, or this big muscle here called your trapezius. And what we're doing here is we're decongesting that muscle. So we spend a lot more time than what I'm doing now. I want to make clear, I want you to really just slow down, get your breathing nice and relaxed and spend more time on yourself. Give yourself a pocket of time, an hour, put on some nice music. Then we're going to work up through the side of the neck. So just little circular motions. And then we're going to do a technique called um, cross friction technique. So we're going to move over the muscle forward and back. Once again, do that a few times. And then if you bring your ear closer towards your shoulder, you can actually get into that, that big muscle, your SCM or your sternomastoid clido process, and give it once again a little bit of a ring and decongestion. So imagine doing that exactly also on the other side. Finally, hopefully you can just rub the rest of the oil into your fingers and you can work into the head. So with the head, if you have a fairly long hair, just give yourself a nice little massage. Start up around the temple, into the jaw area. We don't realise how much tension we hold in the jaw. And then work your way up through the head. A little bit like we, we, we will receive when we go, go to the hairdressers. And then just running the hair up and then just letting it all stream down. Sometimes that can feel really good. If you've got short hair, however, just nice little massage over the whole scalp and then you can just trickle your fingers down so it kind of feels like just sparkling spring water running down just those kind of softer touches can actually help activate the parasympathetic nervous system okay please take good care of yourself and uh, we look forward to providing more clips in the future thank you